that way what happens the man can also peacefully execute his duties his focus can remain on what his duties are and what he is supposed to do according to shastras the moment a man becomes captivated by a woman he loses all his intelligence everything gets bewildered he will lose sight of his duty because in vedic civilization performance of duty is accorded the highest importance in kaliyuga the highest duty is one's own self self enjoyment it's all self centered in the vedic age the uh, the the uh, duties were performed for higher benefits for the higher welfare of others of the society as well as of one's ultimate spiritual benefit but in modern day world people have a very limited understanding of self interest they think the satisfaction of my bodily senses sense gratification is real self interest but the veda states something else nathe viduhu swarthagatim hi vishnum the common mass of people poor people they don't realize real swarthagati real self interest is to worship vishnu and if you are to worship vishnu restraint of the senses and the uh, curbing or the restriction of lusty desires is very very essential and therefore the in the vedic age the interaction between man and woman was minimized so much so that if you look at the four ashramas every man's life is divided into four parts that is four ashramas up to 25 years he is a brahmachari then 25 to 50 years he can be a grahastha then balance uh, if if a person if you assume that average lifespan of an individual is 100 years balance 50 years he has to spend in vana prasa and sanyasa so association with women is allowed only for 25 years during the grahastha period so if we look at it that way only 25% of a person's life span is he allowed to interact with women rest of the 75% of his life he has to learn to restrain his senses and dedicate his activities for worshiping the supreme lord because that is the highest duty the highest duty nate viduhu swarthagatim hi vishnum the highest duty is to serve vishnu krishna this Uh, was strongly inculcated in the vedic civilization but today people are so steeped in ignorance that they have no idea what is real self interest they have no idea of a concept or a culture of a civilization centered around dutiful living in kaliyuga the whole civilization is centered around uh, living a life of sense gratification vedic times the life was centered around centered around the life of dutifulness so the 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 culture of the civilizations are vastly different